Once Upon a Time is officially coming back for season seven, but there are some major changes coming. Some of our favorite original cast members are making their exit, while a bunch of new additions are coming in. I have more facts coming right up. The more you keep her locked inside, the more you're gonna suffer. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. How excited are you for October 6th and for Once Upon a Time to start again? Season 7 will start years after the season 6 finale and a lot has changed for these characters. But what do you think is coming? So before we get into the list, if it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. That way you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new episode. Let's get into the list, starting with who's leaving. It's always so sad to say bye to our favorite characters on our shows because we get so connected to them. So who is leaving? Jennifer Morrison, who I'll have more info on about later on in this list, Rebecca Matter, who played Zelina, Jennifer Goodwin, who portrayed Snow White, Josh Dallas, who played Prince Charming, Jared Gilmore, who played Henry Mills, and Emily DeRaven, who played Belle. So with all those people leaving, I bet you're wondering who is coming back. So if you don't know already, I got it for you. We have three cast members coming back, including Colin O'Donoghue, Woo. Robert Carlyle, Woo. and Lana Padilla. You need me. No. But apparently it's a bit of a mystery of who they'll be playing. As for Lana, this new version of Regina, now called Ronnie, is a bar owner rocking jeans and t-shirts. Going to do what we never could. I'm going to be brave for both of us and choose love over hate. Colin is back as Hook, but a completely different version of him. This Hook is a Seattle-based cop and trying to be a good guy and do things the right way. What do you know? I'm a natural. Giles Matthew is also coming back as Gideon, the son of Belle. Aunt Mother. <laughs> Don't forget the book. We're sad that Jared Gilmore is leaving the cast as Henry Mills, but Henry Mills is still gonna be around. Just not Jared. The adult version of him will be played by Andrew J. West. The other difference here is that he's forgotten all about magic and life in the Enchanted Forest. Alison Fernandez will be joining the cast as Henry's daughter Lucy, who is on a mission to help him remember. Uh, hello? Hi, are you Henry Mills? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you? My name's Lucy. I'm your daughter. Dania Ramirez will be joining the cast as a new version of Cinderella. I believe in magic. Adelaide Kane from Rain will be joining the cast as Cinderella's evil stepsister, Drizella. Makia Cox will be playing Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. And Cinderella's evil stepmother, Lady Tremaine, will be played by Gabrielle Anwar, Rose Reynolds as Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and Emma Booth as the Wicked Witch. After six years, Jennifer Morrison feels it's her time both creatively and personally to move on. I don't know how to say goodbye. It wasn't an easy decision for her though, and she said that the role absolutely changed her life. We're going to be fine. He's stronger than he seems. <laughs> she also said that Emma Swan is one of her favorite characters that she's ever played. For you major Jennifer Morrison fans out there, don't worry though, she said whenever there's fan conventions, she will still attend. And she also agreed to appear in one episode in season seven. So we have that to look forward to. But what is she gonna be up to now that she's leaving the show? Well, currently she is filming a film called Backroads and she's the lead. It's based on the novel of the same name and she will be playing Callie Mercer in this thriller. She also recently finished filming a movie called All Creatures Here Below, which will be released this year. Hey, fun fact, did you know that Lady Gaga was offered the role of the Blue Fairy? However, they never heard back from her management team. She would've been really good as the Blue Fairy though. Jennifer Morrison is actually three years older than Josh Dallas, who plays her father on the show. Yeah, we were just trying to protect you. Another fun fact, did you know that Pan wasn't evil just for the show? In J.M. Barry's original draft for the play, Peter Pan was actually a villain who would kill the Lost Boys when they got too old. I am Peter Pan. Names for many of the characters in Storybrooke are often coordinated with their fairytale counterpart. For example, Mary Margaret Blanchard, Snow White. Hey, what happened? 
Blanchard derives from the French word blanc or blanche for white. Things that make you go, hmm. So let me know if you ever notice this. You gotta comment down below and let me know. Have you ever, ever noticed that the Disney characters that show up on Once Upon a Time actually coincide with the release of their movies? For example, Ariel appeared on the show when The Little Mermaid was re-released. Sorry I'm late. We ran into a few complications. Did you get it? Same with Cruella when 101 Dalmatians was re-released. The Wicked Witch showed up on the anniversary of The Wizard of Oz and a year after the release of Oz the Great and Powerful. The Queen may be evil, but I'm wicked. This makes sense though because Once Upon a Time is owned by ABC, which is a part of the Disney company. Alright, so the next two facts may be a bit of a spoiler for season 7. Nothing too crazy though, so just letting you guys know so you don't yell at me in the comments. Remember that Snow White and Prince Charming had the most epic love story of all time in season 1? What are you thinking? It's good to be back. Yeah. Well, in season seven, it's all about Henry and the new Cinderella, Dania Ramirez. The audience will find out how they met, how they fell in love, and how they were ripped apart. It's all about to begin. So you may be wondering how Once Upon a Time is bringing back old characters and putting them in new stories when they've already had their happy ending from season six. The writers want the audience to know that no happy endings will be undone. Everything will be explained between the second and fourth episodes of season seven. When a new book opens and Once Upon a Time returns. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. 12 surprising facts about Once Upon a Time for season seven. Who are you the saddest to see leaving the show? And who are you excited to see coming up in season seven? If you want to see more episodes about TV shows, click over here. If you want to see more Disney stuff, click down there. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking that A down below and turn on your bell notifications. That way you'll never miss when I upload a new episode. You can also follow me on social media. Until next time, bye.